Hey outliers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Fisayo and I'm a travel and lifestyle friend. So I saw something new and I'm like, oh my body, oh my body is choking me. You even must hear about this. So Singapore, Shanghai, Shanghai, Singapore, all of the above, they have a new airport. And this is amazing. This airport looks awesome. I've not been there, but I feel like there should be a VR, like a virtual reality of this airport. It is that amazing like mind blown like push the truth is i've not really watched this video i'm going to be probably reacting to three videos probably we might just end up using two depending on how great the videos are so that's because i've not really watched them i just saw three that looks good from their thumbnail so you know what as usual let's go ahead and react to this video but if you know you've not subscribed to this channel why what are you waiting for three seconds thank you and check out my other videos i'm doing a marathon video basically i'm making videos for the next you know whatever days of the month of may yeah so you're welcome to join me on this journey so i will hope to see you tomorrow and i hope you go and watch the previous videos if you are yet to. so let's enjoy this airport as we react to it together <laughs> singapore's changi airport has already snagged the title of world's best airport <sighs> Like, can you see? I don't know if that water is real or it's just animation, but it looks amazing. It is beautiful. Do you see the nature? Do you see the plants everywhere? Like, these architects, these people are just. Like, oh my god, it is beautiful. I know the style of my videos usually is me comparing this airport to that of nigeria's airport i've done a lot of reaction videos to so many airports you guys might want to check this out and i'm like this one i don't know if i really want to compare you guys it is mind-blowing it's mind-blowing let's continue it's running and its newest expansion is only tightening its grip on the title but i don't even get what part of this is the airport <laughs> Because I cannot see the checking counters yet. But let's just right now, all they are only highlighting is the fact that it is beautiful. Let's see the functionality of the airport. In April 2019, Changi opened up Jewel, a lifestyle hub for the airport. The massive donut. Now that makes sense. It's a lifestyle hub, like it's a different part of the airport. I'm guessing. The donut-shaped building sits between the control tower and Terminal One. It took more than four years and $1.25 billion to build the glass and steel dome that makes up Jewel. Part luxury mall and part indoor rainforest, here's a look inside the complex, making layovers more fun. Like, you see this, the minds of the people that did this are beautiful. Like, they are very ambitious and they brought it to life. Can we do more of this in Nigeria, please? In Africa, not even just Nigeria. Built on what was once a parking lot, Jewel now covers 1.46 million square feet. It stands 10 stories tall, with five stories below ground and five above. It's huge. 280 shops and restaurants circle the perimeter of the glass dome. There's a multi-screen IMAX theater, a full-size supermarket, and a hotel. In the middle of it all is the rain vortex. Wait, there's an IMAX theater in the airport. What? What? Are you kidding me? While I'm waiting for my, I hope I don't miss my flight. <laughs> A cascading funnel of water drops seven stories through the core of the building. At over 130 feet high. Guys, it's not animation, it's real water. This is amazing. I, it's the tallest indoor waterfall in the world. All the water is harvested from rain, and recirculated through the waterfall 24-7. At night, it keeps running and acts as a canvas for a 360-degree light show projected on it. Surrounding the rain vortex is a four-story indoor forest. Singapore is known as a city in a garden, and the airport wanted to capture that theme at Jewel with the Shishido Forest Valley. More than 900 trees and 60,000 shrubs from around the world make up the tiered gardens. And of course, there are walking trails, they're open 24-7 wow. and they run through the gardens past waterfalls. The airport suggests allowing a half hour for each trail, but maybe allow more time based on these crowds. 
don't feel like this is aqua amazing that keeps it aqua. <laughs> aqua, aqua. <laughs> I will take pictures for days in this airport. I will do a lot of things. You mean there's theater, there's hotel. There is this aesthetic all over. Instagram junk is like, I don't want to think I'm an Instagram drunk. I just like pictures. We will take pictures for days and you will, you will hopefully not miss your flight. Walking, the sky train weaves through the forest as well. And just because it's still an airport, there are early check-in kiosks and counters. But you don't actually need an airplane ticket. This airport is out of this world. Like, I don't know, Singapore, you guys are amazing. Like, you guys come up with great innovations. I will visit that place someday. I will visit that place. Like, yo, this is amazing. Amazing. Or to go through airport security to visit Jewel. Chengi designed it this way to encourage Singapore residents to wander the forest trails as well. The airport expects to see 50 to 60 million visitors to Jewel this year. But Jewel's construction isn't finished. On the building's fifth level, Canopy Park is set to open in June 2019. So if you've got an airplane ticket, you can get access to the four award-winning terminals past security. There's a rooftop pool. For $13, you can watch airplanes take off around you as you swim. There's also a 24-7 free cinema, mind-bending art, and lots of gardens, like the butterfly, sunflower, cactus, and orchid gardens. With all this... This is creativity at its peak. Like this emulates, I have done a video on what a world-class airport should have, or what an, a world-class airport should emulate. Link right here. And this emulates Everything is a home away from home. It's a theater away from theater. It's everything. It's an Instagram all away from Instagram. Like what? Like it's actually amazing. I'm sure when I get there, I will want to sleep. Like, <laughs> guys, that was breathtaking. I love these people. They are very forward thinking, very innovative very positive minded like they think and they act they don't think that it will not happen they believe that they make it happen like that's just amazing let's see um a cnbc video so they did a video on the airport so let's see how the has is it's called Jewel. It's a nearly $1.3 billion project which connects three of the four terminals at Singapore's Changi Airport. It aims to increase the number of passengers coming to Singapore for both visits and stopovers. It's even being dubbed a destination for the locals too. Can you hear that? It's built to make more people come in just either for visits or for stopover. Meaning that you don't have to actually visit the place. You just have to make sure you, you take a plane that is stopping over at Singapore, which is makes mad sense because you want more visitors to see your country. Like, they are like... And maybe that's not so crazy considering it also boasts its own movie theater and grocery store. But if you come to this airport for just a layover, well, you will need to clear immigration to enter this dome. Unless... Say you have a stopover here at the airport, but you don't want to go through immigration. Well, this train allows you to hop on board and go right through the jewel uh, so you can experience it without actually getting off. By riding on one of these trains, you can experience Jewel without technically ever entering Singapore. That's not fair. I want to come down. So what exactly is this place, which feels like an airport, a tourist attraction, and a gigantic mall, all combined into one? Jewel builds on Singapore's goal. We should do something like this in Nigeria. If you're listening, let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. This is awesome of being a city in a garden. Here are the three elements that make Jewel unique. Number one, the HSBC rain vortex. This is where the water originates. It goes down through this funnel, which then creates the vortex. The total length of the waterfall is more than 130 feet, making it the largest indoor waterfall in the world. Jewel is comprised of five floors above ground and five floors below ground. I'm standing two floors below ground right now, and this is actually the base of the waterfall, which goes inside the glass, and the glass you can even touch. The Shiseido Forest, which is sort of meant to feel like you're going on an actual hike. 
It spans across five levels and is nearly 100 feet from the bottom to the top. There's about 60,000 trees, plants, and shrubs. This place is giving me, is making me speechless. Speechless. Like, I'm really impressed. I really want to visit Singapore now because of this airport, just the airport. I know they have so many amazing things, but this airport is calling my name. Pisayo, come over, come, come. <laughs> Overall, we wanted to create a multifaceted project that would capture tourism mindshare and just attract more people. That's Jewel Changi Airport's CEO, Jean Hong. And she achieved just that. Girl, you're smart. You are smart. I appreciate that. <laughs> Go buy your mama another airport. <laughs> That's just creativity. That's being mindful of everything. They, they were very, very specific in everything they wanted. Very detailed. Traditionally, passengers have only been allowed to drop off their luggage three hours before their flight, but now that's changing. Now, up to 24 hours before most flights, passengers can check in here, drop off their luggage in these automated machines behind me, and then from there, well, the airport hopes that you'll go and have a nice meal, do some shopping, or just explore the sites. Guys, maybe I'll go to, I'll start living in Singapore. <laughs> like this is just amazing guys this is like do you see this automation do you see this mindfulness you see the creativity the innovation 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 like they really innovated the process of helping customers keep their bag like they have been mindful of the customers complaints being mindful of the customers experience they got that part right every part of it looks right to me Night, the days end with timed light shows at the Rain Vortex waterfall. This Rain Vortex or the um, light shows remind me of the one in Dubai. There's dancing water at the mall in Dubai. Is it Dubai Mall or Emirates Mall? I'm sure it's Dubai Mall. It reminds me of it and it's absolutely beautiful. You guys, you're amazing. Well, I do know there's now a higher chance that I'll be missing my flight. Hey guys, it's up Jen. Thanks. So guys, you know what? I am very hopeful and I'm really excited. I'm hopeful for Nigeria when they've got me, they've got you. I'm hoping you that you're watching, you're probably someone that has a positive mindset towards changing Nigeria. So they've got you, they've got me, and they've got partners all over the world. And I'm excited for Singapore. Like, this is amazing. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is amazing. Amazing. I don't know what's going to me today. I've sang like three songs for you guys. Anyways, that's it for me to you. Let me know what you think of the video. Do you think the airport is as good as I've been saying it is? Me, I know it is. If you think it is not, then I'm sure you're probably just hating. Just hating. Not hating. Don't hate, okay? <laughs> Anyways, it's actually amazing. I'm happy I'm able to even experience it from the video. I can't wait to experience it in person. And I'm happy to be sharing this video with you. So please encourage your girl. Like this video if you think we did a good job with showing you guys the video and if you want to see more of these videos let me know in the comment section below what kind of reaction videos you what kind of reaction videos in relation to the kind of contest we create on this channel do you want me to do for you if you want to know more kind of contest you can go and check my videos um i do more of travel lifestyle and tourism mostly from the angle of development advocacy for nigeria and africa at large yes i'll see you in my next video which is going to be tomorrow obviously yeah we're making a new video tomorrow we're on a marathon don't forget this is a may challenge hashtag may challenge i'm challenging myself to make videos every day of the week in the month of may except for weekend so i'll see you in my next video till next time do not forget to always stay awesome stay inspired peace